Duba duba duba. Okay. Theft. <laughs> Today we're in fact investigating a thieving, right? A theft. Basically, there is a brand by the name of Inserun, I think is how you pronounce it. Could be doing it wrong, but I don't give a fuck, okay? Inserun men specifically, because I, I suppose they do women's because there's Inserun men, so yeah. Basically, how this video came about was over the past few years, I've been, I've been getting like screenshots and stuff sent to me every so often, um, basically showing my pictures that I obviously post on Instagram and whatnot. Um, my pictures being then reused, with obviously my face cut out, reused on this website in order to sell garments, which are usually either knockoff versions of the items that I'm obviously wearing, or in this case specifically, which is like a new level, which is why I thought I'd make this video. The top that they plagiarized from me was two tops that I'd put together and they're selling as a set. Like it wasn't like a top that you could get all as one from somewhere. They'd taken essentially inspiration from me and what I'd put together to create this garment, okay? So I'll put on the screen the main ad that we're working with here today. Um, and I'll also put on the screen on this side, I suppose, the original post. So as you can see, this outfit was actually an outfit that I wore to go see Beyonce and there's a vlog on the channel so you'll know all about that. On my main channel even, not on the second channel. So obviously as you can see they've cropped my head out completely and just zoomed in on the top. And they're selling obviously the sleeves and the little crop top as one, whereas the original sleeves are I'm pretty sure Ego, because I also got a top that matched the sleeves. Because the, these are, it's like a female top, but I didn't end up wearing the top, I just wore the sleeves. So the sleeves are from Ego, and this this vest was literally like a Primark vest that I like pulled up to be a crop top. So when I saw this, I was like, right, so you've done this in the past to me, right? Which is not a new thing. People get images stolen all the time and reused for ads that obviously they have no part of. It's difficult to dispute, it's difficult to get them taken down, whatnot. So obviously I've let it slide. But then I was like, I'm actually really intrigued to see what the quality is of this piece specifically. And on top of that, I've I, like when I was like scrolling through their website to try and find this piece, I was obviously seeing a lot of other influencers that I know or that I follow or have heard of, their pictures being reused, and also brands, even smaller brands, which we'll also get into today, smaller brands being ripped off, their designs being ripped off. I want to make this very clear before we properly get into um, the haul of things that I've bought from them. I want to make it very clear that I'm not coming at the brand for doing pieces for less because I obviously understand some people have different incomes, some people can't afford um, the same brands. We've got dupes from like Mugler, Jean-Paul Gaultier, obviously like higher end brands. So I understand that there is definitely a market for dupes. The, the issue I have with this brand specifically is the theft of people's property and their, their likeness, their images. That's the problem I have with the brand. Obviously, dupes, they're a thing that happen. I don't really have an opinion on it, um, but I understand why they're there to make obviously certain things more accessible. Now, th there obviously is a ma major debate as to whether it should be accessible or whatnot. The main thing we're, we're gonna be investigating today is obviously the plagiarism. And I did want to then do a little bit of a deep dive. I've bought quite a lot of um, pieces from them just to gauge the quality of the dupes, right? Even though they're not mentioned as being dupes, they're literally stolen designs, okay? So that's what we're doing. As I've already mentioned, we may as well start with the first one, which obviously was the spurring on of this whole idea. Um, so yeah, as I said, the vest is in fact a Primark vest that I just rolled up. And the, to uh, and the sleeves are from Ego, and obviously the two were separate. Now, here's the package that I received from them. 
Now, it's been a while since I ordered all this stuff, like this was like maybe a month ago now. Um, so I can't remember exactly what I've ordered, but I'll go through why I ordered what when we get there. Um, so I suppose we may as well start with this one. So let's try and find the counterpart. This is it. Now I am just really intrigued to see what they're selling, selling people. Okay, so that's the crop top. And it's an actual crop top. So they're selling an actual crop top that isn't ribbed. It's like a, I was going to say stretchy, but that's actually not. Okay, it's a, it's a bit stretchy. Um, it's like a, is it nylon? It's just like a stretchy material. So that's the top. And then the sleeves are also made of the same material, whereas the original was ribbed, but they were two separate materials. So this is more of a cotton. And then the sleeves on the original were this like ribbed, I, I mean, also a stretchy fabric, but just different. Whereas this is a much cheaper feeling fabric. Um, say, same as the top, to be honest. And obviously these are the sleeves. Okay, and also these on the dupe, we'll say, they've got a clasp at the front and that's it. And then the back is just connected. Whereas the original um, is a like hoop clasp at, at, I believe, the front. And then there's a tie back just so then you can really pull it in and you can either have it looser or tighter so there is that so let's look at the price because here's my thought if this is to do with like being like a dupe website right to make things cheaper now sometimes that's obviously going to be the case with certain things and we'll get to them but for example this piece in particular we're talking Primark and Ego both not very expensive webs uh, obviously Primark's not expensive but like Ego isn't that expensive I'm pretty sure I maybe spent 20 quid for the original top with with the sleeves and the top so it's not like you're getting anything for less but I will say, I guess I am flattered. I don't know. So for this one, I got it in a medium and it was $22 for obviously the full thing, right? Which is, it's, it's relatively cheap. I mean, it's not that cheap, but it's relatively decent for what you get. Like it, I will say the quality is not that bad. I'm very intrigued to try it on. So I guess let's cut to that. Okay. So this is the original. This is what I wore to Beyonce. Obviously I did just crop it because I fancied, a, I had, think I'm pretty sure I had a little belly chain on. So yeah, don't feel the need to do that right now. You do get the, you get the gist. Obviously it was cute. I'm not saying it's anything re revolutionary, um, but I am saying you're welcome for, for stealing my fucking idea. Okay, yeah, so this is the original now. Let's get into the dupe and I'm gonna stand over here and just be silent for a sec so I can always insert this footage and give you a little side-by-side -side comparison, okay? Just in case that's interesting to any of you. Okay, so this is the dupe. Um, I initially, when I put on the crop top, I was like, wait a minute, like this is not a bad crop top. Um, it's like the fabric's relatively soft. The sleeves, however, just very baggy. I, d I think the material of the sleeves that obviously were the original from Ego, that material is just much more successful for this kind of thing. The cutting of all the pieces, like the little incisions in the sleeves, they're much more like raggedy. Like you can kind of see like, I'm not sure if someone's actually taken scissors to them or what, but it's just not as good quality. Obviously it is what it is. Oh wait, there's an actual... Have I got this on the wrong fucking way? Because there's an actual... I think there's an actual thumb portion cut into this one, but I think I've got it on the wrong way. But then that would mean... That would mean that the band with the tagging would be... at the front. So that's a bit weird. Like I think they've, they've either put that on the wrong side or something. Or is it meant to be twisted? Let me just try and figure it out. I think they've cut the, I think they've cut the thingy the wrong, the wrong way because now it's like all twisted. I don't know, okay? I'm not saying this is that bad, but I'm also not saying go buy it, right? <laughs> but yeah, this is, I'll move over here so you can have a side, side by side comparison. This is the side by side. It's not bad, like I'm not saying it's that bad. I'm just saying the quality is not the same. And I literally got the vest from Primark for a couple of quid. So it's like, 
they're, they're just, like, I think it's count, counterproductive, I think. I think this one's just theft. They just liked my idea and they thought it would sell. Now, after that, like I said, I did want to have a really good deep dive into the website and kind of what their thing is. And as I mentioned, I did find a lot of like other little businesses being ripped off, which I don't agree with, right? Small businesses specifically, like designer brands, fair enough, maybe do a dupe of those. But I think smaller businesses that aren't that expensive, you're just taking custom away, custom away from those brands, which is fucked up, okay? So the main one that I found being ripped off quite a bit was Patrick Church. Now, some of you might have heard of Patrick Church, some of you might have not. Their brand started as like, I think it was like maybe hand painted. It was all like Patrick's own designs from what I'm understanding. Like he, he's an artist, he does all that kind of thing. So all the prints and everything were his designs. So not only are you ripping off the clothes, you're also ripping off the artwork, the designs, everything. Okay, so I did go ahead and buy the counterparts from Patrick. I also have what are supposed to be Patrick's pieces from Inserun. So, um, the two pieces I got were men's heart print mesh see-through bodysuit. Okay, didn't know it was see-through. I guess we'll see about that. Um, I did get it in medium, which probably should have got it in a large, but that was $26. Now, I knew I'd seen this before, but they didn't have the black in stock, so I had to get the red, which I have actually tried on because I got curious and it's been a while since I did this order. And this is a bit too small for me, but once again, I did get a medium, so that is probably my fault. Um, I have been going to the gym, so, you know, things are growing, things are happening, right? So I can't really knock the size in because I probably should have got a large. Um, I normally would in these kind of things, so I don't know what I was feeling. Maybe I was feeling skinny that day. Um, but yeah, so this is the Patrick version. Very high quality, lovely printing, really nice thick fabric. Like, although it was too small for me, and we'll try it on in a minute, um, it definitely it definitely was like hugging and thick, and I didn't feel like you were seeing that much. Maybe I was wrong, but I guess we'll see. Um, but yeah, obviously this is the red version, um, but so imagine this in black, because they're basically the same, just different colors. Obviously the scoop neck, really cute. Overall, very cute little singlet wrestling thing moment I did enjoy. Um, so that's why I was like, okay, I'll buy it, sure. So let's look at now their counterpart, which I can already tell is vastly different in terms of the fabric. Okay, wait. Oh my God, wait a minute, it comes with the gloves. I didn't realize it came with like the sleeves. Now, Patrick obviously sells gloves for his pieces also, but I didn't buy the gloves because I didn't think it was going to come with the gloves. But wait a minute. Okay, so it comes with the gloves. Now, I'm not sure if you can tell, but it is that like meshy sports material, I feel like. It's very stretchy. I'll give them that. Um, just a very different vibe to what Patrick's was. Now, this is obviously a medium, so I guess it'll be interesting to see the size comparison because this already feels much bigger. This feels oversized. Like, I'm not sure if this is going to be skin tight on me or not. This seems like quite a big medium. Once again, the quality is just not the same. But yeah, so this is obviously their version in the black. I'm not sure what to think. I'm just, that is just very big. No, you watch, I'll, I'll be calling this really big and then it'll not fit me. So let's just, I guess, try on both of these and see kind of the comparison. I would imagine this is just much easier to source and cheaper to source. So that would just be my opinion. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this is the, <laughs> this is the red Patrick piece. Um, I did mention that I'd already pre-tried this on because it looked a bit small and as I mentioned it doesn't fit and that's probably my fault. I didn't look at the size chart and I don't think I'd be a medium in this kind of thing anyway. So it doesn't fit and I think because of that the fabric is having to stretch quite a lot which I think is why maybe you'll be able to see my undergarments, I'm not sure. I do think though, obviously this is quite a wild one, right? I do love little pieces like this. I think they are fun. And I think the 
cut of this is really fun. Obviously, I don't know where the fuck I'd wear this, but I do think in general it's a fun piece, it's a unique piece, but it's also something that you don't see very often. That's why I think it's a bit shitty of them to be ripping off smaller businesses that have much more unique pieces. Obviously, the last one, still not great, but I do. I, it does kind of annoy me because the quality of this is really good. It just doesn't fit me correct. Um, which I think is pretty evident, but I think, honestly, if I was a celebrity and I was going to an award show or something, like, imagine this, say, with a pair of black trousers with a belt. It would be kind of a fun little moment, right? But anyway, let's try on the counterpart. Okay, so, this one is more mesh, right? This one is a completely different material. There's several flyaway... Oh, I've just took a bit off. There's, there's several sewing issues here. I will say this one is too big now. It's definitely not half as tight, but that does mean it, it is a little bit more comfortable. So I actually do see myself maybe wearing this to lounge around in. <laughs> Imagine me just in my home, you know, serving this. The material just... it. Do you know what it is? It's just not as luxurious. That's the beginning and the end of it. The um, the top does basically fit the same, I suppose. If anything, if anything, this one's maybe giving a bit more modest. Like you could probably probably could bring it in front and cover your boobs. Um, but yeah, don't love. <sighs> but it isn't bad. <laughs> I can't say it's bad. I really can't. It is mesh though, right? Moving on. Also, sorry, just forgot, I've already taken the thing off, but these are the gloves. Just thought I'd try the gloves on for you. These are the gloves that it comes with. So now you know. The other piece that I got from Patrick, which is literally identical, like the photos are identical and everything. Men's abstract figure print logo sleeve t-shirt. This was $15.69. Is that what they call it? This is the Patrick version. Obviously, it has his logo in. It's a proper mesh top. I'm actually really excited to own this. This is really cute. Away, oh, it's nice and stretchy, nice and breathable. The print is like extremely good quality. It just seems very cute. I can see myself wearing this actually quite a bit. Yeah, I, there's not no, there's not too much to be said. It's got like the whole like inside out seam thing happening all the way down the front, there's a few panels. Very cute. Okay, let's see what the counterpart's giving. Oh, also, I, I do want to mention, Patrick's came with like an air freshener, a, a, like a little promo card thing, very cute packaging, all the lot. These obviously just come in plastic bags. Plastic bags, okay. Okay. Okay, significant differences here. The... Wait, that man's got glasses on. Was, the, was there a man with glasses on this one? Okay, yeah, no. Interesting. So they've included, obviously, in the print, a weird man with glasses. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see. The man with glasses looks really odd. Do you see that? Like, it's so, so out of place, I feel like. that They've added to... It looks like they've added to the print and just put a man with glasses in there. They've still got the inside out seam thing happening. It once again just feels bigger, like it feels like the sizing is just in generally bigger on their website, which I mean, I guess it is what it is. Sizing does differ. Um, the mesh does not feel as good quality, I will say that. So the mesh, the mesh bolts in the fabric are thinner in this one and a little bit more spaced out in this one. I'm not sure what that means, but that's that's what it is. Also, the printing quality is much more murky, which is not a bad thing, it's just something to note. Um, the design is much more murky, more, more like blended, whereas this is much more like a solid print, good line work, the whole thing. Yeah, that's the main differences I'm seeing. Let's get this on. Okay, guys, so this is now the Patrick version of the mesh top. I, I love it. Okay, I love it. it. They snapped. 
the quality's there. It's even got a nice little seam at the side so that it, it actually kind of like flows nicely. But yeah, it's really, really cool. And this is a large actually, which fits really well. Um, and I will say, although it's a mesh top, I don't think you can see my like nipples and whatnot. You might be able to see my tattoo, I'm not sure. Um, but overall, I really like this. We'll definitely be wearing, maybe in a video soon, who knows? But well done, Patrick, love it. Now let's try on the counterpart, which I can already tell you I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna prefer. But let's try it on anyway, let's give it the benefit of the doubt. Okay, so this is the counterpart. At first glance, you might be thinking, well, that looks pretty similar. But at second glance, you'll be thinking, well, why the fuck is there a random guy with glasses on? Guys, the printing quality is really bad on this one, I won't lie. They've really done a disservice with this piece. Like, look at this, look at this hair. It's just, it's just weird. Like, the quality's not bad of like the mesh. It's a bit tighter on the neck, which I don't love. I'm a bit funny with turtlenecks. It's not got the same seam splitting down the side, so it does, it, and it's, I don't think it goes as long as the other one did. Um, but yeah, I, I honestly have no idea why they decided to put this man here with the glasses on. Because it's it, it looks like they had a face and then the glasses and whatnot were just like an afterthought, which would make sense. But yeah, it's not bad. It's just not the same quality. It's just not good enough. Like, this this one's very clearly a dupe in my opinion. Like, you can tell, you can tell they, what they were going for, and you can tell where they missed. You know, you can just tell where they missed the mark. So yeah, not too much more to be said about this one. I just don't love it. It's not as good as Patrick's at all. And then, after obviously, seeing all that, I was also really intrigued to basically see some of these dupes from either designers or looks that I've seen, pictures of celebrities that I know have worn certain stuff, and I found a good few. Now, this is all just purely curiosity. I'm not trying to tell you guys whether to buy from this brand or not. I, this is purely just an experiment for me. I think it's a bit of fun. Okay, so let's not go crazy. So the first thing I want to look at, I bought a clear dupe of the Mugler bodysuits. Now, I did try and get my hands on one to obviously assess the differences, but they're very expensive, obviously, because they're designer brands. So, I, I haven't got one here to compare the differences, unfortunately. Obviously, we've already kind of gone through the differences on a few pieces, so I hope that's good enough. But we can imagine, if it's designer, we'd like to think that their quality is good, okay? I'm not gonna say the best, but at least good, at least passing, at least thick. Especially with Mugler, they seem like they know what they're doing. So this is a dupe of one of their bodysuits, one of the men's bodysuits. Wait, what? Wait. Okay. Oh, so that's the front. Okay, so the zip's at the front. Sorry, I, I was freaking out thinking, like, where's the panelling? So, the panelling is only at the front. There's no panels down the back. Now, I'm not sure about the original, whether that had panelling down the back. So I guess I can't say. But there's basically, there's like a sheer mesh panel down the arms and then a sheer mesh, mesh panel up the side. I'm also now watching this footage back and noticing that the mesh panels are completely different to what was on the picture. So it's just not the same piece. Like they're not, they've not even emulated it well, basically. So, you know. I mean, overall, it's pretty cute. It is a leotard. But one thing I will also mention is I'm not seeing any pouch for the willy like no clear no clear paneling for where the penis should lie so i've got a feeling this is going to be quite flimsy now on the picture it is a man modeling it right and it does say men's mesh patchwork zip long sleeve bodysuit so this is going to be interesting to see how it fits around the penal area okay guys oh the, the, the dupiness is really coming through, okay? So once again, at first glance, you might be like, that's not too bad. Like the sleeves and stuff, it fits quite nice. The mesh panels are flattering, which obviously has nothing to do with their design at all, okay? <laughs> but the massive downfall is that there, there's no space for the penis. None. Like, I, I wish I could show you, but obviously for 
YouTube reasons I can't, but you can see where like Mark, so I'm currently wearing a thong. Yes, they do thongs for men. I wear them all the time. They're great for the gym. I just find them very comfortable. Okay, so there's that. But you can see where my thong goes, this white number, and you can see where theirs leads. It covers about this much space. Probably not even enough for a vagina, to be honest. I'm not saying it's bad because it does look decent. Like the zipper is decent. Like the actual top itself looks okay. The, the like wearability is just not the most comfortable. Now don't, don't get me wrong. I reckon like if you actually, like not that I'm trying to persuade anyone to wear it, <laughs> but now that I've got it, if I was to wear it, I probably just would like pull it all to one side. It's much more comfortable then. The cut as a whole for the bottom part is not what I would expect or would hope it would be. That's, that's, that's the thoughts. Not great, like, and the fact that it was labeled for men is a bit sus to me because that's, that's not, <sighs> That's not giving men, is it? I thought I'd give you a quick flash just in case because then maybe YouTube won't flag it, but yeah. But I do think it fits me nice. Like it fits me nice on the sleeves, but it's not Mugler. <laughs> now the other designer dupe that I did find was Jean-Paul Gaultier's like the dots. Y'all have seen the design surely on some celebrities or whatnot. Obviously Jean-Paul Gaultier does all the dot bodysuits. Some have bras, some have obviously different bits. And I found that they had one on their website. Now, like I said, not got the not got the counterpart to obviously check that out, so I don't know. Um, but we're just going to see the quality of this. Now, this is a turtleneck. Oh, see, the mesh on this one feels much different to the one for the Patrick Patrick ripoff. This one feels less soft, a bit more structured. Obviously, we've got the. Is that what the picture looks like? Oh yeah, okay. So this is the one with the bikini vibe. Now this is mesh, whereas I thought the original are like opaque tops, but they might do a, a, a different, it, it, maybe they do it in different materials, who knows, so I, I can't say. But yeah, so this is the Jean-Paul Gaultier dupe. I will say the dots are nice. Um, okay, so I'm just looking now at a picture of this Jean-Paul Gaultier number and by the looks of things they they can be mesh but they're more of like a flat mesh if that makes sense not the kind of mesh that's got a bit of dots in this is the mesh that's got dots in and I will say the print is really like vastly different um, because on the on the actual Jean-Paul Gaultier ones the base of the mesh changes colour like it looks as though they've got a base print and then an overprint on theirs, whereas this is like the garment is just beige and all the dots are the, are the parts that are like the actual pattern and that change colour. So it doesn't look as effective because, yeah, like I said, they, they, they look like they've got several layers on the, on the Jean Paul one. So yeah, I'm glad I did look and the dots in general are kind of lackluster on this one in comparison. There is that. This I'm actually quite disappointed in. I mean, what did I expect, I suppose? But yeah, so let's try it on. Who knows, it still might, still might look cool. Uh-uh. <laughs> no. Um, okay, so this one's maybe my first real dud. It's just very uncomfortable. Um, the mesh isn't great. It's not very stretchy, this, me this mesh. Whatever mesh they use for the Patrick one, they should have just reused for this one. Um, I just don't think the illusion works very well. It's not give like this one's the one where like, if I wore it out, people would just know that it's very clearly a dupe. Now I might just wear it obviously to film a video. That's great, it'd work for that. But I'm sure people would still be like, why are you wearing a dupe of the John Paul Gaultier, right? So there is that. It's just a bit weird. Like, the boobs, like my boot, like wearing it comfortably, where I just had it a minute ago, my boobs and nipples are down here. The breast cups are up here. Now this is once again, marketed to men. There is men, male versions of this, like there's men's sizing and whatnot. So the printing is clearly just too high 
for a male physique. Maybe I just got, uh, got the wrong size for me. Maybe that's a possibility. But I don't imagine me getting a bigger size would make it lower. It would just make it wider, wouldn't it? So I don't know about this one, people. It's not it's not ridiculously bad by any means. I'm not, I'm not fully just dragging it completely. It's just not a successful dupe, that's all. That's all, that's all it says, okay? And the sleeves are very clearly too short. Like this is me not even having moved my arms. If I did this a lot, like if I was actually moving, grooving, dancing, look, I've just swung my arm and it's already even higher, okay? This one's not for me. The last thing is something I've had major interest in since I saw it on him. So Mr. Harry Styles wore this number to the Grammys one year. Not sure on the year, but I'm sure of the outfit, right? Very, very chic. So when I saw this on Insta Run's website, obviously you can imagine I was intrigued to see how good a quality this is. Cause it's, don't get me wrong, they're not using Harry's picture, which I think is smart cause he could have come from. But it's definitely meant to be like a knockoff of his, of his look. I've been so intrigued by his outfit and I low key wanted to make his outfit somehow. Now I, I can't sew. So I've got no business even trying to replicate an outfit or even make one. But I was like, this would get me one step closer to the outfit. Now this is the vibes. Now you're not really gonna get the, the vibe of this until I try it on. But it looks quite big, which I was worried about because I, I thought it might come and be too small. But it looks like it should fit. If anything, it might be a bit big. Very boxy. The legs are a bit weird. But, I, but to be fair, I will say I'm pretty sure his outfit was kind of boot cut, but the legs just don't seem very long on this. Like, that's the top and that's the bottom. So is this gonna be maybe like a drop crotch? Because that's not gonna be slay. But yeah, this is obviously not an exact replica or whatnot, so I can't really say. And obviously his was God knows what, some sort of designer, probably Gucci or something crazy. Um, but I did bu I buy this purely out of curiosity to see what it would look like on me and just at least get a vibe. So, yeah, let's try this on. <laughs> Harry, <laughs> I'm sorry, my man. You know what? It's not actually as bad as I expected it to be when I just saw it off the rack. Um, that's not me saying it's good. It's just me saying that my expectations were very low for this piece. Okay, it is a bit short for me, but maybe that's just because I'm tall, right? Clearly this, the, clearly this is probably just a height issue. I'm not sure if you were to see. Um, it is a bit too short. I, if I did pull it down, the gusset is extremely, <laughs> extremely low. Um, but guys, it's not that bad to be honest. Like I think the straps, the straps could have been shorter, the legs could have been longer. But I do feel the energy. I do feel the energy of Harry. And like, I'm not uncomfortable. Is it see-through? Is it? I guess you guys can let me know. Um, yeah, it's just not flattering. It's not a flattering piece. Let me pull it down a bit again. Cause I do think they intend it to be a little bit further down. Um, so that the straps actually fit. I will say it's very weird to me how low it goes on the sides here. It goes extremely low on the sides. Almost to like love, love handle territory. But um, guys, I won't lie, I do kind of feel like Harry. Maybe that's problematic of me to say, but I do feel about a bit like Harry Styles. And I'm not mad at the boot cut. I'm not saying I look chic, but I'm not saying that I don't, okay? <laughs> um, the straps are irritating me though, they don't fit. But yeah, that's this one. I may as well just quickly do the outro now because I feel like I've kind of said all my thoughts. Um, I'm not sure what this video was to prove. It was more just out of curiosity. Um, I do think I'll get some sort of wear out of all these pieces or if I don't, I'll, I'll probably keep them in my collection for a while and then if I don't, I will just be donating them. Most of the time, unless obviously a piece is extremely tarnished and like worn in, um, that's what I will do. I'll donate it. Don't fret, none of this stuff is just gonna be going straight into the bin. Not my vibe. 
Um, there will be a time and a place for all things. I do actually see myself keeping this, like for a while. Just if I want to feel my Harry Zhuzh, you know? Maybe for like a quick Insta, I could make this work. <laughs> I don't actually hate it. Yeah, that's this video.